Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here from Lexus of Edmonton. Today I'm going to be showing you this brand new 2013 RX 350. Under the hood we got a 6 cylinder 3.5 liter engine. Actually runs on regular gas. Most luxury vehicles are run on premium but we designed this one to run on regular and saving you a good 10 plus cents per liter. Coming around the side, take a quick look at the tires. 19 inch rims, all season radials on all four of them. Looking up at the turn signal on the mirror here, integrated. The mirror is also powered, powered folding, powered adjustable. Uh, it saves with your seat memory as well. All right, now we're going to take a look inside the RX. So, touch to unlock as long as the key's on on you. Get inside here and check out the, the door panel. Can fit letters, envelopes, that kind of thing in there. Typical power locks, power windows. Your uh, mirror controls are there. As well as your memory seat settings up here. Uh, one thing to mention about the RX, if you look down closer to kind of the design of the bottom here and where, where they connect when you shut the door, You kind of see that the body itself is is insulated from the elements and has a gap right around here. So that when you sit down to get in the car, you know, hang your legs off the side, you're not going to get. There's not going to be any dirt or stuff here. You're not going to get that line on the back of your pants, and it's just kind of one of those extra little features that you'd expect from Lexus. So moving on, power seat, seven way. I'm going to move it back a bit so I can fit in here comfortably with the camera. You're looking down on the left side here, you know, your power trunk, gas release, the hood release and your parking brake. Trip odometer settings. This is an extra little cup holder on the driver's side, cup holder only. I'm gonna push button start, turn it on. Just so you can see some lights in here. So that's the, uh, the front dash. And there's uh, this little button on the side here. You can kind of change what information it tells you on the display. You know, your average fuel economy, uh, real time fuel economy, cruising range, average speed. Lots of stuff to play around with in there. On the other side of the wheel, steering wheel audio controls you can uh, shift through different stations and different modes satellite FM AM volume control the cruise control hides a little lower down on the side here and then when we look over to the the dash you got the screens kind of up in a in a it's deep up there for for a reason so that when you're driving and you're looking out at the road it's not that much of a glance to, to take a peek at that screen, you know, and, and change your settings, check where you are on the map, that sort of thing. It's controlled by this device here called the Lexus Remote Touch. And it's, it's really like a mouse. Your hand sits on it nicely and this moves around and it's, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's just like a mouse. You just point and click, it'll snap to these different options for you. And you can navigate that way. There's lots of things on here. You got your main menu button and your return to the map button here. So if we hit menu and look at it, there's lots of different options from your music to your climate control to uh, you know service information and vehicle information. This car has lots to tell you. If we look further at the dash here, typical kind of stuff. You got your fan settings, uh, independent control for the temperature on both sides. Shifter has a sport mode with manual tap shift. Cup holders. Lock the drive line as well as uh, turning off traction control in that deep snow. Heated and cooling passenger seats. And if we pull this back up, look in here, got some storage space. USB and your auxiliary output. As well as way down there, there's a 
that's the power down there. Locking glove box. Passenger seat is heated and cooled as well. Also a seven way power adjustable. Got power locks and power window on the passenger seat side. Up here you got sunglass holder, sunroof controls, lights, that sort of thing. When you pull down the sunshades and slide this, the light automatically comes on. So for you ladies out there to check your makeup and that kind of thing. And that is about it for the interior of this uh, RX touring package. All right, now we're gonna make our way back here to take a look at the rear of the vehicle, and the, the trunk and that kind of thing. Let's give you a little close up of these tail lights and the vehicle badging. So up on the spoiler on the top here, and yes, it is technically a spoiler, we, we build the wiper right in there so that, you know, especially in the Alberta climate, you don't get snow building up on the wiper where they're usually down here on most SUVs. So you never have a problem clearing your rear window in, uh, in the wintertime. I'm going to do a quick demo here on the, uh, the trunk opening up. So on the key fob, you got your little trunk button, press and hold, beeps a little bit, trunk opens right up for you. Take a peek inside here, got some extra gadgets that come with this car. You always get your, your carpet mats in addition to the rubber mats. That's the, uh, the cargo area mat back there rolled up. Uh, the leather bound book for manuals and that sort of thing as well as a, a that is the net, the cargo net. The seats are 60, 20, 60, or no I'm sorry that's 40, 20, 40 split. So you can have the middle one down to put your skis or snowboard across or you can have either of the side ones down or all of them down and whatever you want kind of thing. If you look on the side here, you got handles in the Lexus to just, you just pull it and the seat goes down for you instead of having to run around to the other door. Bam. Lays flat down like that. You got one on both sides. So when you're all finished up with loading up stuff into the trunk here, instead of having to pull the lid down, just got your one little button and there you go. Moving right along, we're going to go check out the inside back seats here. Door panel, same kind of deal as the front one. You got cup holders back here though, and your power window. Floor mats, you got space on the, the back of the seats here to put stuff. Heating vents here. Up on the top, we got the light control. The center seat folds down, and you got a little storage area back here, or whatnot, as well as uh, cup holders. The seats in the back here can all independently be dropped down, as I said before. There's a little handle down here that controls that. You, you pull that handle and the whole seat comes down. You can also be used if I pull the handle and push back on the seat here. They also recline, and they also move forward and back. It's a little little tricky to show you with the camera in my hand, but you can see they're uh, adjustable. So that's a nice thing to have if you need a little bit more space in the cargo area in the back, but you still have uh, passengers back here. Gives you some options. So that's about it for the back seat. All right, now we're heading over to the front end of the car. I got the hood pre-popped here so I can show you the engine. First we'll check out the headlights a little bit. If you look down on the lower end here, running along the side, those are all your LEDs and they're the daytime running lights. So you turn on the car and they're always on 
really good to kind of show people you're coming even in bad weather conditions that kind of thing they just shine right through a little bit lower you got the fog light and then check out the new grill on all the 2013s uh, it's Lexus spindle grill kind of the uh, the bent inward shape there on both sides is kind of the signature of it now if we look under the hood The engine's the uh, 3.5 liter V6. We take a look around the hood compartments here. Like uh, it's, it's all covered. They all pop off, all these little pieces. And they're just here to help insulate the vehicle from, from noise and engine noise and that kind of thing as well. And perhaps more importantly, just to keep dust and other road stuff out. Helps keep the engine clean and everything running smoothly. And it looks good. I mean, like most vehicles, it's just stuff's all over the place when you look in there but this is clean and finished and it's also you know you can see the rubber the rubber seals the whole way around so for the most part stays dry in there and I close that up give you one more look at the front end so signing off from Lexus of Edmonton my name is Ryan and I approve this message